spread a tad up. We have a super cute origami based craft for you today. We're going to be making these super cute little birdies. They're super easy to make, fun and great for a little bit of crafty doodling as well. So come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. So to make your little birdies, you will need some paper, some scrap paper optional, some stickers optional, pens, scissors, glue stick, some of it is optional. The basic shape is actually really easy and only needs a piece of paper. So we take our square, it's roughly 14 by 14 centimeters and you bring up one corner. Now it looks like mine isn't perfectly square, so I might have to trim it. I cut it myself, it's not ideal. No, it's okay, no, it's good. Okay, so you cut it. So you've got to draw, uh, cut it, you fold it so you have a triangle, you take one corner and bring it to the top, make a nice neat crease, bring the next corner and again bring it up to the top. Now make sure that these two meet, and they're not perfect but we're going to trim it later so it's okay, but you need to have them touching otherwise your um, chickens or your bird's head <laughs> won't look super neat afterwards, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Fold up the bottom. This is going to be its little stand. We're going to glue some feet to it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Fold in the sides. These are going to be the little wings. Doesn't have to be super neat. Flip it round. Bring down the two flaps. That's your beak. And this is what I mean about the uh, two edges need to be aligned. Otherwise, you've got a big gap. So you've got your basic chick done. Now all you need to do is trim, especially mine, because uh, my square wasn't perfect and <laughs> my folding wasn't super neat, and decorate. So I'm gonna use my stickers, but you can draw on it or you can make your own eyes by, um, let's see, I'm gonna make this a bit of a fun one. You can draw your own eyes, you know, by, by cutting out bits of paper, you know how I often do. Stick it down. Get your black pen, add some little nostrils, and then you can decorate the tummy. I'm just going to do some little lines on this one. And you can add some colours, so I've brought some other colours out, so I think it's quite nice to have maybe you know, a little bit contrasting. So this is the bit where you can basically get creative, doodle away and make each bird different. I'll show you the others in detail in a minute. And then all you need is the feet. I kept it very simple. I kind of did a, a long heart shape. Doesn't have to be super accurate. There we go, with the ends missing and I'm just gonna glue those on. And there you go, your little bird is finished. So let's have a look at the other ones. Move that all over. So I've got my green bird. Look at this blue one, he's really cute. I have a pink one, let's have a look. So this one's got chevrons on it. And I quite like this one, my little yellow one. Look at that, <laughs> little hearts. So really you just decorate each bird as you wish. Um, have fun with the decorations, use lots of different colours, you know, make them in white, maybe add rainbow tummies, you know, whatever you've got, whatever colours you've got to work with. And I think these make super fun little spring decorations that stand up and, yeah, decorate your room. Anyway, as per usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Above all, keep watching, keep making. I'd love to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.